morning, my Gs, and welcome back to the greatest DoorDash and Spark adventures that you've ever seen on YouTube. Yesterday, I did come out, I did work, I actually vlogged a little bit. The problem was, is the vlog sucked. I mean, it sucked bad. It sucked so bad that I didn't even want to post it to the second channel. And then on top of that, I worked all the way till like 9.15 p.m. because I have an incentive. And the incentive was, is if I did 100, or not 100, if I did 16 trips between yesterday and today, I would get 100 extra dollars. So I was really trying to grind that out I did 11 spark orders yesterday and the spark content doesn't really make the videos that interesting uh, but I'm still gonna try to hit the incentive it is going to be an extra $60 today because I got $40 yesterday I did also get a comment uh, why did I stop talking about Solana when it dipped so hard? The thing is, I have not stopped talking about Solana. I still talk about Solana. It's just at the very end of the video when I purchased the Solana. I did buy $100 worth yesterday because I buy $50 worth every single day. So, yeah, that's why, I mean, I still talk about Solana. I still believe in the project. Love the blockchain. Hopefully, we have a good day today. Yesterday, I think I made like $324 just driving. We're not replicating that, but let's at least try to do $250 today. I do also want to mention a quick update about the wagon. I said long ago when I first got the wagon that I would keep you guys updated on this because this was like a $20 wagon from Walmart. Uh, this uh, pole right here for the handle, it's stuck. I've tried everything possible. There's two buttons down here. If you can see, you're supposed to click those and then it slides down. But the thing is, it's literally stuck in place. So now it looks kind of weird just back here, especially when I have like orders. Oh, I got an order. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, I already saw it. Yeah. Crumble cookie, $7.50, 4.4 miles. Yeah, that's the update with the wagon. Still works though. All the wheels, I mean, the, the thing just doesn't go down. That's fine. An order came in as I was eating my banana. It is a, ooh, you got a spark order. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, what is that? No, 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 no. Okay, no, trash. Uh, $6.50 Green Market Cafe on DoorDash. The Green Market is right there, so I'll go park on that side over there, man. I ain't trying to walk. I get enough walking from them shopping orders. What's up, buddy? What you got? I got Patrick. Patrick, uh, that one's coming right now, so it's about four minutes. Okay. Pretty good, man. Got your Green Market. There we go, man. Much. You have a good one. All right, that's not too bad. The green market ended up being $7.50. $6.50 what was shown. Now, I also did pick up another Spark order, which I can't find. There it is. $20.29 is a shopping order, only going 2.8 miles. And it is only 11 items, which is good because it is already $12.25. So I want to knock out this order as fast as I can to try to get the next round robin coming in. And I guess I could show you guys real quick while the light is red. Here is the incentive. You can see I already hit the extra $20 for the day, which is why the total started off very high and then we just need four more trips and it could be shopping it could be curbside doesn't matter what it is four more trips to make an extra forty dollars so that is going to be huge for us today and if only this light could turn green so i did not get the drop off action for the last order it was going to a lovely babushka and you guys already know man i am here to serve the babushkas and they always like you to bring the orders inside so i leave the camera in the car man drop off the order it wasn't big at all like i said the only thing that i couldn't find was batteries I think, yeah, I just could not find the batteries and there was one other thing I just couldn't find. Feel bad because she didn't have any substitutions, but I found everything that I possibly could have. I found like the same type of battery what she wanted, but she wanted the rechargeable ones. Just couldn't find that. But I also did end up getting a Uber Eats order, which is good. I'll show you the screenshot right here. $10, only going one mile Glory Days order. The thing is, I gotta figure out how to get to the Glory Days. I think if I just go straight down this way, Actually, I might not even have to wait at the light if I go straight down this way. Hmm. No, I'm gonna have to because I have to turn. Dang, man, is there an easier way? I don't think there's an easier way to get there. But it is a $10 order, 1.02 p.m., so we got 18 minutes until the next round robin. Even if we do get a shopping order, it's still a, it's a super close drop-off. I just have no idea where it's going because I almost never drop off down here, but let's go to glory days. We're picking up for Carmen. What's this say? Please pick up delivery orders at the bar. Okay, well that's good. At least I don't have to like, I, I know where I'm going at least. I'm going to the bar. What do we got here? Bar. For Carmen. Carmen. Carmen, yeah. It's three items. One bag, two bags, and one box on that, okay? Gotcha, man. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Thank you too. And this is exactly why I scrapped yesterday's video. For some reason, lately in my market, everybody just wants you to hand them the food. And they're just waiting outside for you. Like, that was to a business. She should be working. She should not be out trying to get an order. I mean, there wasn't any customers there, but still. Oh, Jimmy John's has their own delivery drivers. If you've ever noticed, man, 
You never do any Jimmy John's orders. Let me know in your market. Do you ever deliver for Jimmy John's? So this order wasn't even my round robin. It's 1.23 p.m. I was waiting for one, and then this one just randomly pops up, $27.50, going 2.4 miles, and it was a curbside, just like an ASAP order. So I think someone else unassigned this one, and I just got it. Now I have to go ahead and debate whether or not I even want to upload this video, and it's just everybody wants to meet me outside, and there's no way of hiding this thing. Like, look, it's, I mean, it's, it's black on black, right? But you can see this, right? I mean, it's a big camera. And the thing is, right, I was going in the dude's garage and stuff like that. He had a dog. So it's like, I don't want to sit there and record that. Um, you know, just for, I don't, first, I don't want to lose my tip and stuff like that. 11.50 for 3.6. I don't want to do that one. We are very, very close, though. When we go to the, uh, what's going on here? Incentive program. Very, very close. I'm at 14 out of 16 trips to get that extra $40. And that's going to be 60 extra dollars because because I got 20 when I did the first shopping order of the day. But it's 141, knocked out that order super fast, so maybe we could try to get some food in. Actually, I, got, I gotta get some food up in me, bro. I'm hungry. I was going to get myself some Chipotle, but I gotta take the money instead. $8.82, I think that's what it showed for like, what, 3.6 miles? I gotta take that, man, because the thing is, if I don't take it, what if I don't get a spark order, right? Then, then it's like, uh-oh, I mean, I ate lunch, but now I don't have a spark order, and the next one is in like, 40 minutes so we have so much time and you know what it's a little early right so we'll go ahead and i can get some pick up and drop off action i got this spina cool thank you Looks like I'm going to be going back to Walmart to do another shopping order. This time it is $30.73 going four and a half miles. Uh, it is 30 items, which of course that does kind of suck. Uh, but the thing is, right, it's 2.05 p.m. So I'm going to get an early start. If I could just drop it off. Do you guys think I could do it? Oh, the thing is, I'm not even there yet. Okay, so I'm gonna have to shop pretty quickly, but I also have to use the bathroom. I'm gonna try to knock this out before 3 p.m. Not sure if I can do that, but I'll try my best, man. It's a beautiful day outside, it is cloudy. That's what I do like, man, because I got sensitive eyes. And yeah, let's go back to shopping, man. Look at all that, man. Look at, look, before I go, look at that, man. Imagine having kids, having to pick them up from school like this, having to wait in a car line. Nah, man, I'm out. I gotta make money. I ain't got no time to be in no car line. I was so close that I am going to count it because I'm at the gate right now and on the other side over here You know how they have the call box and stuff like that Well, my customer gave me the actual gate code and someone else was doing a delivery and their customer Did, did the thing where you gotta like call them So I, I had to literally get out of my car and type in the code for both of us to get in because he kept trying to put in the number And the person wasn't answering uh, Aren't those customers just great man when you they, they don't want to give you the gate code to get in easy and then they don't want to answer the phone when you try to call them from the gate uh, okay rant over I'm hungry I should really make a how to make $500 a day on spark video but no one would believe me literally like this is all you got to do you just got to keep taking them spark orders $31.01 three and a half miles this is also going to give me the $40 incentive so it's like doing a $71 order I also picked up myself some lunch just something that I can eat and drive at the same time haven't had Chipotle in a while but uh yeah I mean yeah $71 let's go okay now let's take a minute right let's understand this hopefully it's not too dark let me turn this on if, if that even helps anything this drop off was to a babushka that i have dropped off to in the past a couple of times in the past she always wants me to go inside and help her drop off the things on the counter which is understandable right when you're older you you, you, you need some help putting everything on the counter so i'm not going to bring it in the camera for that either and that's the same problem that happened to me yesterday which is the reason why i did not upload the vlog this one i'll probably upload uh just because i think it's a little bit better i mean yesterday no joke literally there was no drop-off action it was every single person met me and I think the reason people want to do that now is I think less people are scared of the Rona so they're just like okay whatever let me go ahead let me take it from you and then it's it's I mean if it was me I would like it for to be for it to just be dropped off but I can understand Florida is a place where a lot of people come to retire it's a lot of older people so you you just it comes with it man people that are in different states 
it's easier because your state's full of younger people. I mean, this is Florida, man. It's a retirement home. As much as I love shopping orders, I did not want to take this one. It is $21.28, which is cool. Uh, 4.1 miles, not bad. But the thing that sucks is that, one, it's no tip. So this could be a really trashy customer who just wants to ding my ratings. And then uh, number two, it's 24 items. So more items than the amount of dollars that I'm getting paid. Uh, but I still decided to take it just because I don't know if I'm going to get any other shopping orders and I want to continue to take these because I feel like if I keep taking them, they'll keep sending it to me. So uh, Walmart's right there. Uh, the thing is, I'm just going to rush through it, man. If I'm looking at the shelf, it's not there, out of stock. Next. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just take a picture first. Yeah. Yeah. What was up with that guy, man? He telling me how to do my job. He's like, yeah, yeah, ring the bell, ring the bell. I know what I'm doing, man. I gotta take the picture and then I'll ring the bell, man. It was a no-tip customer. I don't trust these people. This shopping order is only $17.17, .17, but it is only 10 items as well. And I could go for a nice little short shopping order. All of these ones that I've been doing, 23, 24, 25 plus items, uh, it starts to really wear you down, man. When you're doing it all day and that's all you're doing, people think it's easy. People think, oh man, all you gotta do is go to Walmart, shop for the items. Yes, but when you have to try to shop for all those things, Things in a certain amount of time and then drop it off because it's not like you could just yeah I could go in there and tell oh hold on is my song playing hold on hold on I could go in there and take my time and 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 not care right just like there's other drivers that do it but the thing is I want to get a shopping order every hour so you have to be in there you have to move because if you're not you're gonna miss the next hour and then the next hour you're gonna have to go back to doing food and it everything just messes up so having a nice easy one like this man I can just go in relax ten items easy peasy and uh, let me actually start the trip. Let me see what she got because I could go in this way. I just want to see if she got any like cosmetics or something like that. Because if I park over there, I have to walk all the way to the other side of the store. So let's see. Actually, I'll show you guys as well. Okay, so this is the items. Uh, so dairy, grocery, seasonal, and stationery. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm probably just going to go in through this way right here just because of these two things right here. Uh, these are going to be so stupid to find, but okay, we'll try our best. We finally get a little break from all of the shopping. I got a curbside pickup order for 6.15 p.m. I actually did not check if this order is even ready. Holy crap, let me go ahead and check before I say anything. It is getting ready. Ooh, okay, well, that sucks. Um, and there goes my phone. I'm just so freaking tired, man. <laughs> I've just been working so hard these past couple of days. Getting ready, that sucks. Um, yeah, I don't want this. So I am here chilling at the Walmart, was trying to get myself a shopping order. One did not come in. I did get another Caddy's order, Caddy's Madeira Beach. I've picked up from there one other time. I wish I could have, I, I did get a, you can see right here, there are curbside orders and I've accepted them to see if maybe if they were ready. Like, uh, let me see, where is it, where is it? It looks like someone else actually might have accepted it. But the thing is, none of them are ready. These express ones, they're not ready. I'm not even gonna do this. The $10 one. It's just really not worth it right now. Uh, the uh, Uber is $10 and some change and it is seven items. So I'm thinking maybe it has a good hidden tip. I mean, even if it doesn't, we did so good today that even if I don't do any more spark orders tonight, we still killed it, man. And never mind. As soon as I leave the Walmart, I was going to the caddies right now. As soon as I freaking leave, it sends me a shopping order. $17.28 going only one mile. The thing is, it's dark. So even if, one, I can't really record the caddies because you have to rush over there. And then two, can't really record the drop off because it's dark right now. So uh, I don't know, not my best vlog, but I still made a lot of money uh, you guys probably have seen uh when i dropped off the last order whenever that was but i i made a load of money all right guys first of all i just want to say thank you if you made it this far into the vlog i know the spark orders are not really that interesting at all especially when i can't even get the drop offs for a lot of them but it is 7 46 p.m i wish i could have stayed out a little bit longer it's just that every single curbside spot at this walmart is taken like it is super packed there's not enough loaders uh, for all of those people there so if I would have taken an order I probably would be sitting there for over an hour just to get like a 22 
call or run. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather go home and relax. And the reason is because I made $307.75 today. $60 of this is from the incentive. So still about $240, a little over that, uh, is what we really made with the driving. But with the incentive, man, that's freaking insane. To make over $300 starting at, I think I started at 11. So that's what, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and about eight hours, maybe, maybe yeah, eight, eight and a half hours, something like that. Uh, super happy with that, and that's the reason that I love doing Spark. It's not going to be super busy like this all the time, you know, with the shopping orders. That's the thing with shopping orders, what makes them so great. While those people are all sitting over there, I go inside, shop for the order for 20 minutes, and then I dip out and make money. And that's how I was, uh, that's how I was doing it all day. But we got to go ahead and invest in Solana. It did have a nice little dip. Wish I would have bought it here, but uh, it's back up to $14.40 one cents which is i mean still a steal so we're gonna buy fifty dollars worth today it's gonna give me 3.45 solana and that's that guys what an epic day i really wish i would have i just had no energy yesterday to upload or, or to edit that video but yesterday i also had over a 300 dollar day so two 300 dollar days to start the week is freaking insane uh and i also want to mention my sole position for the week is 10.41 last week we got i think 20 solana so i think we're on pace again to make over 20 solana or, or buy 20 solana at least stake it get the staking rewards and then next bull run i'm telling y'all man solana is it so hope you enjoyed the video tomorrow we'll see if we're going to continue to do spark or maybe we're going to get uh, some more food orders usually i mean I don't know. It's just, it's getting close to the holidays and Thanksgiving is coming up. So that's why I'm thinking a lot of people are probably ordering Spark right now. So, I mean, I got to go to where the money is because my future depends on it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, guys.